Let's talk about constants in mumps. First of all, we have the numeric constants, which are of course stored as strings, but when used with a numeric operator, they behave as numbers. So if we go back into mumps here, uh, we can say write uh, 100. Write, well I'm using the abbreviation W instead of the full word write. You can do that in, with most commands. 100 uh, plus one, you get 101 naturally. If I say write quote 100, plus 1, I get 101 again. If I say write quote 100 quote plus quote 1 quote, 101. So strings, numbers, it depends upon the operator. The operator forces an interpretation on the string. Um, fractional parts, um, decimal numbers, that sort of thing, write 2, 3, uh, write 1.23 plus 1, uh, write quote 1.23 uh, plus um, quote one quote. Again, quotes are optional with numbers. Uh, you can have negative numbers, of course, that sort of thing. Um, sometimes the unary positive and negative are used to force a numeric interpretation. Uh, for example, in mumps, we have this peculiarity that if a string begins with a number and you use the string in an arithmetic calculation, it will only use the numeric part and it will ignore the trailing part. So if I have set um, uh, x equal to quote 123 Elm Street, okay, that's obviously a, um, a string and it writes out perfectly nicely. If I say write x plus 1, I'll get 124 because it took the interpretation of, uh, of 123 and ignored the, the trailing string part. Sometimes you just you don't want to actually do any arithmetic. You just want to force a numeric interpretation. So if I said, were to say write plus uh, x, you get 123 because the plus, which really doesn't do anything, a unary plus, um, however, is a numeric operator and forces a numeric interpretation on the string. How about some other things? How about uh, exponential notation. Exponential notation in mumps is, um, in most of the versions, you have to check your own uh, documentation, is um, going to be as a string. So if I say write quote 1, 2, 3, E, um, 1, okay, you get 1, 2, 3, E, 1 because it is a string. But if I say uh, plus 1, I just hit the up arrow, um, you get an, a numeric interpretation. So 1, 2, 3, E1 is a string until you use a numeric operator. Then it becomes exponential, which means 123 um, times 10. E1, 1 is the power of 10. So that's um, uh, 1,230, which I add 1, 2, and I get 1,231. And this works with um, just about all of the, uh, all of the numeric uh, operators and, and uh, functions. Let's talk about truth values in mumps. Zeros are false, and all non-zero numerics are true. Character strings, if they don't begin with a number, are all false. So if I have an if statement, and I have a number, uh, such as uh, 1, 2, 3, this if statement will write because 1, 2, 3 is true. If I have if minus 1, 2, 3, uh, this will write because it's also true. If I have, um, whoops, if um, zero, this will not write because zero is false. If I have, um, quote, A, B, C, quote, this will not write because A, B, C is false. It's a string. It has a numeric value of zero. However, if I have That is true because the leading part of the string is numeric and it's true. A, an empty string is false because it's got no numeric value. Um, also, if I use arithmetic with empty strings, uh, the empty string evaluates to um, zero, as you can see.